All right, so now we are going to um, do an extraction because uh, we, let me delete this real quick because I did it before. So um, we are, we know that there is an issue with the dates, right? We understand that my dates are beyond the cutoff point. We have the latest date to be April 1st, 2015, but the uh, audit that we're conducting is from January to March, 2015. That means our cutoff date should be a day earlier than that. So what I am going to do is then turn around and create a direct extraction, right? And I am going to call it um, whatever is it that the assignment wants me to call it, which is accounts receivable as of March 31st, 2015. So let me call this, um, again, I went to analysis, direct extraction, and I'll call this accounts receivable March 31st, 2015. And then this is the criteria. So this is an equation editor that will come into play. And in here, I want to make sure that um, I am selecting uh, the criteria that is provided for me. So first of all, I want to double click the field name paid on uh, name paid. Where is it? Paid flag. Where's my paid flag? So I'm going to find the paid flag. I'm going to double click on that. Or I could have typed it as well. And I want to make sure that if it's paid, it's not included in my transaction. So I'm going to say that this is not equal to. And then I'm going to put it on quote as P, upper case P. All right. I, it may be case sensitive. Right. So this is, I want to do an extraction of all those records in like a query that of all those records that are not paid. And I want to make sure that the date and time is less than April 1st or less than or equal to 3 31st 31. Uh, I mean, March 31st, 2015. So let me just go to March 31st of 2019 and then switch it to 2015. And that's it. I know the video gives you 2015. I like to use the um, the equal sign as well so that there's exactitude of when, when we're going. You could have also chosen less than April 2015. All right, so I'm going to validate it first. And we can validate that by uh, checking the syntax and pressing validate. Um, all right, and I think that's, that will be considered right here, validate. And this is a valid equation. If it was not a valid equation, you would have to check. So once again, check for those um, uh, quotation marks. Some of you may have um, software that is different that will let you use this, the right quote. So uh, let me go ahead and run it then, press OK. And now that I have my accounts receivable extract as of March 31st, 2015, I can look at the field statistics. Uh, I am going to run them again. So let me go back to my assignment totals. And those were part of 2E. My control total per client. So this is the data that was provided by our clients. So 369 to 5513 was the amount that was provided in our, in our client's financial statements. The general uh, sales tax was 2519336, which matches what we have. And then the provincial uh, sales tax was 2852583, which matches what we have. If we look at our date, our cutoff date is 331st. I understand we have an earlier date. That means that stuff hasn't been paid since November. But as of the end of March, these are the transactions that we're looking for. Uh, so that's pretty great. I, I we we are reconciling to the right amount, uh, and I think that is exactly what the assignment was asking us to do. Now let's take a look at the number of transactions. That's two hundred and fifty-three, uh, and and that's basically it. And by the way, uh, speaking of of um, the history log, let's go back to our history log. This will will basically save exactly what happened. So if I wanted to replicate this and create a macro later on, let's say that I was using this for several clients and I may want to create a script that just says, do all of these things and then just play them again, like a macro. Um, so that's important that we can save it. Um, we can expand on all this and it will give us exactly what was extracted and, and the extraction criteria when it was done, et cetera. Kind of like, um, Looking at your access, um, 
assignment, but let's not get distracted. All right. So I may want to add a comment that says, you know, my database reconciliation works great. And that's what the assignment is asking us to do. Uh, and just to make sure that we mark that indeed, we have uh, a subset that is pretty good. So I'm going to add a comment that says um, database reconciliation is database reconciled to provided by client. And, and that's it. So now this is an important message and I'm going to set it up as a medium priority. Um, I could also change the priority to uh, something different. And in the future, um, I can just um, update it or go back and see what, what happened, right? This is something that I can do and I can do a, I can create a link. Um, let's look at the link. Um, so I can go in here and I could link it to the actual database that we create or the extract that we created. And it's right here, press OK. And then now this is properly linked. I can then uh, close it. And if I open it again, it should be in there. So anytime that you see this file, you would be able to see that that particular extract has indeed uh, matched. And that's the file that we're going to be using for our further analysis. OK, thank you.